Okay, I'm using Sunday in a creative profile. Okay, make that straight a little bit. And then uh, I have 160 of the shutter speed at 3.5 ISO 100, which is on auto. So it looks pretty good. Doesn't have the uh, vivid cover colors like I had that somber, but uh, let's try it out. And this is a different view. I backed up the car into the garage last night. Make sure it closes all the way before I take off. It's another cloudy day, but it's recycle and um, trash. Neighbor's back, so he's he had a good trip. Huh, no parking. And they're selling the house. <laughs> selling this house, too. So, my bank is taking their time to pay off some bills. And they're like that. <sighs> So I contacted um, uh, Social Security. I'm still a little bit worried about, but uh, got to get in line to call them up, see what the problem is. They try to call me from Albuquerque, I think. So let's see what's up. I want to talk about uh, third-party batteries. Now, I think I got Naoma or something like that a long time ago as a two-battery solution. I think I can use them on the NPW50 uh, batteries for uh, 6 and 100, ZBE10, all that stuff. But anyway, those batteries will not work when the ZVE-10, okay? But they will work on the A6100. Uh, I think the batteries are a little bit too big. Uh, I had some other batteries that some were bad. I threw those out because they swell up. And I, I think that's the problem that uh, most of these camera companies have. Is you get these third-party batteries and all of a sudden they swell up you don't want them to explode in your camera and damage it or you put it in there and you keep recharging it without taking the battery out and it may swell up and get stuck in there all right so that's why I like with uh, Canon and these other ones say hey you got to use the real batteries okay from us because they'll give you a meter of every time you charge the battery, how much it'll um, hold, you know, on the charge. So, anyway, I was, uh, I'm thinking of selling the R10, R8. I charge all the batteries for those. It takes the LP E17 battery or something like that. And um, I got two each, but one goes in, back in the box, and I got two extra ones. And then um, they're about $70 each. I couldn't believe it. But um, anyway, uh, took out the SD cards. I'm going to keep those. 
that will get the battery the um, I put uh, shoe covers on them they didn't come with any shoe covers but I put them on there because I bought extra and uh, let's see what else um, yeah this car <laughs> Uh, so they're in pretty good condition. I'm reading some horror stories online is where camera companies uh, aren't really paying for the right amount for the cameras. And then I go on eBay and they overinflate them. And uh, it's like uh, they'll offer like 60% and then they'll try to lower it. But they do inspect the cameras and the equipment very much. And they'll find details and they'll mark them excellent, let, you know, extremely excellent, like new, something like that. Uh, they got free shipping there, free shipping back. Apparently there was some damage on this one guy's video. But, uh, you know, you always get two sides of the story. And if you pack them well and then you ship them off, then... Uh, see what they say. And if you disagree, they'll send it back to you free. And then you can sell them on eBay or whatever. But uh, look at Datarama, B and H, and even my camera company. They, uh, if I bring it to a local store, they'll look at it. But they lowball too, very much. So I tried them once. I didn't like the process. I did trade for uh, a camera. Got rid of three to get one. Got rid of the R7, the R50, and the R6 for the R6 Mark II. I should have at least kept the R50. So, but that's done. Uh, I'm still keeping the R6 Mark II. And if the R5 Mark II doesn't pan out, I might just get another one. I am. I don't mind SD cards. Uh, CF Express is nice, but I'm not dealing anything with 4 or with 8K. Uh, the Z8 I love, the Z9 I love. I uh, love the Z ZF, like this one right here. I got the ZB-10 in the car. And I'm going to try out the 10 to 20 and compare it against the uh, 11 uh, millimeter. So the 11 millimeter, I think it's a 1.8. And the 10 to 20 is an F4. So try that out. Um, let's see what else uh, so I got to do that on the Sony ZV-10 I didn't do it today because uh, I already had the camera set up and I'm on my way to work two weeks left folks then I'm retired By then, I'll find out if Social Security has their stuff together. I'll contact the local branch here to find out what the problem is. They gave me 40 points, which they said was uh, all I needed, which I had. And uh, But then they put a message that says, well, since you applied for Medicare or... or 
this retirement, they can't find it because it's locked. <laughs> and it's from the IRS. <laughs> so I have to go to them. Probably have to get online to show them. He says, yeah, I'm still working till November 30th. And then that's my last day. Hey, let me tell you. <laughs> A lot of businesses, the left hand does not talk to the right hand. <laughs> There's strife everywhere. Nobody wants to to uh, share. <laughs> so anyway, that, that's a little fix. And then uh, uh, so my thrift will go into my savings, which I like taken care of. Everything else looks pretty good. No, not going. That is a line, folks. And I didn't go to the one to the left like I usually do. And what I've been doing is, um, now it's kind of bright, folks. Okay, it's at 3.5. I could move it up a little bit to, uh, oh, that's a four, five. 5.6. Let's go to 5.6. Okay. It's darker. What I'm looking for is um, any uh, focused breathing. Ah, yes. Went down to 245 here at QT. Already driven almost 100 miles, averaging about 23.4, but I've been driving in the city. So I didn't go driving last night, but I did do three videos. I finally got the grip to the ZF. I ordered it before, and they gave me the wrong one, ZFC. <laughs> so... I am thinking of sending it to Gray's. You know, they already have two that I sent them. Maybe a third one. I was looking at the colored versions of the ZFC, but they want $600 more than the asking price. So, I don't know. I like the red color. Uh, a lot of people have the orange. On the ZF, I'm looking at uh, I, I like the blue, but I'm thinking of going for the red. Now, a um, guy in England that I've been watching, Pete for you or, or something like that, he sent his red back and got the orange. I got two blacks, you know, and uh, they, they've said on grays, it's like, well, if you have any repairing to the damage or whatever, they're going to replace it with black. They're not going to replace it with the color, leather. So, okay, no problem. So I have to take that in mind, too. But I put the... Uh, Z8 in my hands, and I'm really liking that camera. Z9 is kind of large. I got that in the car with all the batteries. So all the batteries are charged. 
um, the Naoma I've had for a while so one battery charge with no problem the other one I don't know so I put it in the A6100 and it's charging and it went up to 23 percent and that was after an hour so I just said I'm gonna leave it in there go to work come back and hope my uh, the battery doesn't explode in the A6100 but uh, you know the A6100 is still a good camera yes it's 8-bit but you can do 4k and uh, up to 4k 30 I don't need 4k 60 and the thing is it doesn't overheat so a lot of people say well it's only a tilt screen if you want to blog or stuff well I got a little mirror thing that attaches to the shoe and reflects the, I can see the settings so I'm not too worried about it you know a lot of people complain about this or that there's always workarounds you just do what you have and enjoy it it is like the Z50 um, yeah the tilt screen goes down <laughs> so you get a cage and then uh, put the tripod on one end and you can do the tilt screen <laughs> no problem So, I've been coming here, and they've been, their machine keeps breaking down. Okay, which one's going to go? Which one? Come on. Uh, can I have a large smoker frap? Large smoker frappe. We don't have that machine right now. Oh, you don't? You have a large. Uh, we have like the iced coffees, the lattes, cappuccinos, macchiatos, mochas. Hmm. Yeah, large mocha. I'm sorry? A, a large mocha? Large mocha, ice or hot? Uh, ice. No, no, make it hot. Make it hot. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, positive one. Now your phone is going to be 475. Thank you. Yeah, it's 478, but. Yeah, I wish that Frappy Mocha machine worked. <laughs> Large Mocha? Yeah, uh, the hot one. Yeah. 475. Yeah. Uh, All right, thank you. thank you. I hate when they do that. Okay. Alright. Yeah, when you get new people. You know, morning crew is supposed to be um, top notch, but 
not seeing any of the old timers that I usually like seeing here. Uh, cars on the right. All right. So this is at 5.6, 1.6 is the sure speed. And this is sunny day. The uh, picture profile, by the way. <laughs> it's not very sunny, okay? <laughs> if I put it at F2, it'd be bright. And then you can say sunny. Uh-oh. Someone is on the sidewalk barfing. Oh, my. So this is a pretty good picture, 40 millimeter. I enjoy it. So, and it looks like, uh, the reason why it looks like it's leaning, folks, is because it's going down to the right, okay? But it's straight as possible. So, we're getting to the end of the journey, two weeks. I can continue on without stopping. This has already been 23 minutes. Wow. I'm going to take my stop at uh, McDonald's off. Kind of even it to 20 minutes. But uh, anyway, thank you for tagging along. I just want to thank you for watching. Uh, remember to stay safe. Keep smiling. And until next time, I shall see you then. And this is it, F5.6, folks. I hope it's not too bright. It should be clear, though. All right. Bye, folks.